think uh, we're back for the finals. It is just me, just Justin, back here to commentate for you all. I have 54 people hanging out with me to watch this. We have Bradley Crabtree. We saw him earlier. He's playing Esper Control. It's kind of like a historic deck. I think it's more Esper Historic, to be honest. I've seen some Raft Capations and stuff like that. And then Taylor's playing Black Rod Aggro. We just watched him take down Logan Reinhardt. Uh, honestly, here, I think Taylor's got the advantage. Um, obviously, these two uh, decks have kind of been, like, you know, built for built to play against each other. But uh, I think Taylor's going to be able to just get under the control deck, especially, like, the Historic version. Since I am alone, I need you, chat, to help me interact with me. Something. All right, so Brad leads on uh, Isolated Chapel Tapped. We're going to get a Soul Scar Mage out there. This card posters in the background. Uh, yeah, there, there are some giant mocks. Uh, they're actually fabric, uh, like wall scrolls. There we go. That's what they're called. Yep. Yeah, we got some wall scrolls back there. Uh, those are pretty cool. So, yeah, this is definitely Esper Historic from Brad Crabtree. Mm -hmm. He's going to kill Soul Scar Mage. Alright. Then Brad's going to untap. Does he have an untap white source for the... Uh, he does not. Okay, so he's going to... He misses out on playing History on Curve. We're going to go to Bowmat Courier. Bowmat Courier resolves. Then Scrap Heap Scrounger. Taylor's going to get to attack for five here. Yep. Alright, Brad down to 15. Uh, Field of Ruin doesn't have any targets, so I hope he doesn't plan on activating. He doesn't. Okay. Uh, this turn, we're probably going to get to see that uh, history. Yep. We're going to get a 2-2 two -two knight. History is actually pretty good versus the black red. Producing two blockers um, is very solid. It's a little awkward versus Heart of Kieran itself, though, so... See if uh, Brad is able to overcome the Heart of Kieran problem. He will have the Weatherlight next turn, which is bigger, so not impossible by any means. Taylor going to four mana. We're going to get Hazard out there. Hazard's going to uh, just crew this turn. We're going to attack. Attack for seven. He's going to block the Scrap Heap. Brad down to 11. We're going to uptick. We're going to get another Knight back. Another jump blocker. Probably for Hazard at this next turn. Taylor should be able to empty his hand. Yeah, he's got land and a uh, small creature. Uh, I'm curious to see if Brad will actually play out the uh, Weatherlight. What's up, Medieval Gaming? We're in the finals. I am the only one back here. Cruise for three. Taylor confirming what it cruise for. Uh, so we're going to play land. We're going to play Ch Goblin Chain Whirler. Man, that's a draw. Uh, it's going to be able to make uh, the Bowmat Carrier to trade with the Knight if he chooses to, which I think he will. Yep. Trigger Bowmat Courier. I believe the last card in Brad Brad's hand that is actually relevant is in In Bowls' Clutches. So that's going to be actually pretty good. Uh, assuming he can cast it, that is. Yep. Brad confirming that he is about to take most of his damage. So he's going to 9. That's pretty brave. He's taking 9 damage. Brad goes down to 1. Okay, so history... Doesn't exactly trigger then, but that's fine. Wow, that's a pretty good draw. He drew Karn's Temporal Sundering. Historic cards are anything that's legendary. An artifact are the, uh, the specifically the Saga enchantments. Mm -hmm. Taylor's feeling like he's in a pretty good spot. Does Brad have an untapped land? He does not look like he does. He, he's packing them up, going to game two. Alright, uh, I think Taylor's going to do something very similar, like, 
Uh, hopefully he doesn't like actually think Brad is like too heavy on the, um, like uh, blue black or you know just like too heavy on the control cards themselves because I don't think he real quite realizes that Brad is more of a historic uh, card. I mean he might say like you don't really see the history of Benalias or like weather light uh, in the. Uh, control decks like you especially don't because those cards really don't don't have a place other they, they they exist but they're in the sideboard so uh, from Brad's side you're probably going to expect some life gain um, I don't know what the in the form of maybe some authority of the consoles uh, I don't think so though um, I wish I knew more about like the Esper historic I haven't seen too much of it uh, I've seen, you know, bits and pieces of it online, but that's about it. I, I am excited to see it here, and it does seem very likely that uh, we're going to see a Goblin Chain Roller deck take down the... Yeah. Uh, Taylor, well, come on, man. You know it's great to commentate by yourself. Nah, I, I don't need no one else back here. I don't want no one else back here. I'm all by myself. I'm in my own head. Well, I, I'm only dead silent because, you know, people are, you know, talking about me and I got to hear what they're saying. Uh, I mean, I don't seem very talkative, sure. Uh, uh, a lot of them are, a lot of the people, like the players right now are commenting. I'm kind of a reserved person myself. I don't talk that much outside of like when I'm streaming or, you know, stuff like this. But, you know. There's times and places for everything. Do you think John Douglas and I are the best stream team? I mean, we have a lot of, like, I mean... There are a lot of people last for Taylor, John, Taylor and John back. You don't have to flatter me. I'm not. They're very tired for the first Alright, so, what, what else? I wish I could, like, you know, do more to interact, but, you know, there is a lot of just talking to myself right now. I'm, I'm right here on camera mm. for a minute. I don't think the camera likes me. I lost my last match on the camera. Medieval gaming. If, if I had to vote two people as the best team, I would say it's probably you guys. Like, you guys give good hand in a little fun analysis. Yeah. Esper burn. Right, last offer. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what we really need to be doing. Well, I mean, I'm going to get 12 packs anyway. Well, it's, it's 12 for first, 8 for second. Is it? It's 12 in the playmat for first, mm -hmm. 8 for second. Oh, Alright, I want the playmat. I, I get all 20 packs and you get the yeah, playmat. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, well. It looks like they agreed to a split. So, we get to go home. My deck did what it came to do. Wonderful. Uh, Alright. Well, thanks for coming out. Remember to uh, donate at for us for you know uh remember to donate if you like us you can do bits subscribe you know whatever we appreciate it if you just want to see me commentate or talk blindly into the darkness forever that's that's great too seven more subs and we'll get a legacy tournament in here for y'all i'm pretty sure i'll commentate that because who likes playing legacy obviously then uh remember to check out our articles we're gonna have two or three uh different articles out this week and they're gonna be on topdeckproductions.com and i can't think of anything else to say but thank you all for hanging out with me all right see you 